Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to work out the area of the circle. Now, the area of the circle can be found using the formula i r squared, which means i multiplied by the radius and multiplied by the radius length again. Now, pi, we're asked to take it as 22 over 7. So, we want to do that. So, pi is 22 over 7 multiplied by the radius length. And the radius is that line that starts from the center of the circle to the circumference. So it's going to be 3.5 centimeters. Multiply by the radius length again, 3.5 centimeters. Now working this out, 22 over 7 times 3.5. Now, of course, we can think of this as a numerator. All right. Now 3.5, if we should add it to itself, give us 7. In other words, 3.5 into 7 goes once. Twice, actually. Not once, but twice. Now 2 into 2 goes once. And 2 into 22 goes 11 times. And so we have 11 centimeters multiplied by 3.5 centimeters. I'm just using the color difference for contrast, right? Now, 11 times 3.5 centimeters. Uh, 11 times 3 is 33. And the half of 11, that's the half I'm looking at, the 0.5, is 5.5. And so that will give us 38.5. So that's our answer is 38.5 centimeters by centimeters all right centimeters squared 38.5 centimeters squared so next we're looking at the part b we found the area of circle to be 38.5 centimeters squared and now we're looking at the area for the minus sector of sector a o b c so we're looking at this region here the region between the two radii radii and the arc ACB so theta is the angle of a sector of a sector angle All right and we're gonna use that to help us define here of the minor sector. So theta being the sector angle, and the sector angle we're looking for is this one. Put right the angle in the minor sector. And the angle in the minor sector is 120. In the major sector, it will be this angle right here, which is actually 360 the entire circle. Alright, I'll talk about this little circle going right around the angle 360 minus 120 should have give us a remainder of 240 degrees but we're not looking for this this the area for this sector we're looking for the area for this sector the minor sector i remember the minor sector again is between the arc and the two radii so that's be 120 out of 360 multiplied by pi r squared which we work out already to be 38.5 centimeters squared if in the event you were just given the area for the minor sector, you just you basically put the values in. All right, and we already worked this out already, as noted. Four, and so this would actually work out to be one third. Of course, because 120 goes once, that goes three times. Divide both top and bottom by 120. And this will work out to be 38.5 centimeters squared. And 3 into 38.5, and that will give us 12.8 uh, recurrent centimeters squared so that's our answer for the area of the minor sector so now we're looking at 
tap it in the ear of the triangle AOB. Now, to calculate the ear of the triangle, we can use the formula half base times height, but that's only when we have a right angle. In this case, we don't have a right angle. We have 120 degrees, so we use this more general formula. Half A B sine C. Now, don't worry about too much about these letters. All right, so this should actually be C here, right? Okay, so what does the A and the B stand for? And what does C stand for? C is the angle between these two sides. So we just need two sides with an angle between them. So these are these will be the any two sides of the triangle, and C will be the angle, the known angle between these two sides. So we need these three to be known. So do we have two sides that we know? Yes. And do we know the angle between these two sides? Now 120 is not directly between these two sides. In other words, these two lengths did not form 120 degrees. Rather, it's the two radii that form 120 degrees. And do we know this length? Yes. If this is this radius is 3.5, then this radius is also 3.5. Remembering that the length of the radii in a circle are all the same measure. So the two sides that traps the angle, the known angle, are both the same length because they're both two radii of the circle. A is 3.5. B will also be 3.5 and sine of the angle in between these two um, radii, radii is 120 degrees. Now working this out, we will have half times 3.5 times 3.5 and that's going to give us 6.125. Multiplied by sine, so the, all these are multiplying by sine of 110. So we need to work this out using our calculators. Entry your calculator is in uh, degree, and so 6.125 will be multiplied by the sine of 120. So I'm going to put 120 here. All right, I already did this already. Just want you to see what we did with it. We just press sine, and this is actually 0 0.866. All right, so that will give us a value. This will give us a value of 0 0.866. Multiplying these, we'll get approximately 5.304, uh, etc. centimeter squared. So we just want to use up to uh, three decimal places. That will give us 3.304, but we want it, let's use uh, three significant figures. That will be 5.30 centimeters squared. All right, so that will be your answer for the area of the triangle. Now for the final part, which is the the area of the segment ABC, let's consider this: that we have. We have the sector here, and the sector, as we can see, has been divided into a, a segment. This is a segment, by the way, right? That's what I'm shading here. The segment is divided or is created by the arc ACB and the chord AB. The green line is a chord, and the line whose ends touch the circumference is called a chord. So, the region between, or the region bounded by the chord and the arc is called the segment. That's the region we're trying to find the area for. And we also have another region in the sector, which is the area of the triangle. I'm just shading that in green. So, the sector 
is completely shaded in green and red. And that sector again is bounded by the arc ACB and the two radii AO and BO. So recognize that the area of this minus sector is a combination of the triangle, the area of the triangle, and the area of the segment. So I've basically showed that here, that area of the minus sector is the area of the triangle in green and the area of the segment in red. So if I know the values for any two, I can find the other using simple algebra. All right, so let's fill in the values. I think that might be a little more easy. Or if we want to, we can find, a, we can rewrite this into a new formula. But given that you understand this formula from my explanation, I'll just substitute the values and then transpose. All right. So I'll put in the value area of minus sector is what? Do you remember the area that we found for the minus sector? Well, that is 12.833 uh, recurring. So we're going to just leave it as that. Area of triangle, we found that to be 5.304, the three decimal places. Basically, putting these figures in the right position equal sign equal sign area of triangle plus the area of the segment which we haven't found let's let x represent the area of the segment so what i'll need to do now is to remove this figure here so i'll have x equal and then the answer to remove this figure here i will subtract it from both sides so i'll subtract 5.304 centimeters squared from this side i'll also subtract it from this side as well So what I'll have, in fact, is just x on this side, and 12.833 minus 5.304, that will give us what? 7.529. All right, so we can definitely see that x is equal to 7.529 but we weren't asked to find x we we're find asked to find the area of the segment so we can say therefore area of segment abc is equal to 7.529 centimeters squared and that is our answer for the final part